everybody know? Yeah. Okay, it is Sunday, May 4th, 2008. I'm in Yellow Springs uh, to interview Juan C. Gonzalez and uh, shortly his uh, partner, Paloma Dallas. Juan C. has mm. been uh, working in Ohio as mm. a Latino artist for mm. a good uh, ten years. No, seven years. Seven years mm. now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's begin by discussing your early artistic training, your early mm -hmm. development in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a student in Cuba in the uh, Art Institute. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's a very prestigious uh, place for a study. It's the, a lot of important artists came from the Art Institute. It's in Havana. Mm -hmm. I was four years in my master's degree in the institute. I went to Kiev for one year to study painting, mural painting. Mm. Um, I was a student too in the Ikai. Ikai is the Institute of Cinematography in Cuba. Yes. I was studying for one year a camera a movie for a film, camera and photography. And I was finished in, in 84, my former uh, academic uh, classes, and I was working like a professor in the design school in Havana, and then I was beginning to have a political problem in Cuba because I was making critical work. Uh, street performance, um, on the ground videos, with interview with people about human rights. Um, in that age, in particular, eighty or the eighties was now is is for the history is maybe the most important uh, time in the revolution uh, years. No, it's half a century. Uh, <coughs> because was all my generation was working to m trying to change the society in Cuba for you know it was the same time the perestroika in Russia mm -hmm. and the the all the change around the socialist country and that influence in Cuba affected all the artists and. We was trying to to push in and to change the society in so many ways, you know, to have possibility to traveling, a possibility to make free speech, to connecting with another artist outside, to have exhibition in USA, in London, in Tokyo, in whatever country. Why not? Because we was the the song of the revolution. We was born in the city, and why the revolution don't have a don't believe in our generation was have a lot of fear to to say go and exchange with another society no and, and go back and for that reason we have a lot of pro political problem and we made decision to make different group and we was working with with uh, rights with human rights um, different human rights organizations. Yeah, um, okay. ideas too. You say uh, the Cuban government did not trust your your generation. Uh, you were involved with several art groups mm -hmm. and collaborations mm -hmm. who were all interested in mm -hmm. uh, creating work that was critical of the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. um, what were some of the points that you were making in, in your artwork? What were some of mm -hmm. the issues you were bringing to mm -hmm. your generation? For example, uh, uh, I received so many invitations outside, in from Italy, from uh, Canada, to have exhibition. No, they invite me because they believe in my work, and the government say no, you can go. No? It's impossible. You don't have visa, you don't have passport, you don't have money for to go to have that exhibition and live in, in Canada for two or three weeks, whatever. And this is one situation. No? And then another situation you can have conversation. For example, if you go to Cuba, 
and you live in USA and you one made this kind of interview, the the oral history, whatever, I can talk to you. It's impossible to talk to you because they need first checking you, who are you, where you, you came from, what is your representation, what is your university, whatever. What is your interest in have this interview with me? You know, have a lot of control with every young artist. In that moment, now it's a little different. And, for example, when we make some project, all the time in Cuba you need the somebody, it's not the curator, it's not the something for the cultural way, it's some military guy, some official, secure police, they are between you and the people all the time, and they check in your war and say, no, this war is impossible to exhibit, and little by little you are in the in the blacklist, because when your war is, is very critic, critical, uh, you receive sensory, and the, every gallery in Cuba is, is, is came from the state, the government. It's no uh, any business in Cuba is is free business. No free no. gallery. You know everything is uh, is a the, the controlling all the inst the art institution for the government, and they bring the money, they bring the support, everything, but in the same time have control to or the exhibition, or the the reading, or the projection movies, or the invitation for outside artists, or every activity is in control. No? And for that reason, we went to the street. We made the group, and we made the decision to go to the outside, and made a... a very uh, daring move, yeah. because you were doing underground mm -hmm. interviews and mm -hmm. underground pieces, mm -hmm. but you had no arena in which to show them? Exactly, exactly. And mm -hmm. how, literally, you took it to the street. Would you explain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we went... First, we went to the very, very important area in Havana. It's in the Vedado area. It's like, you know, Times Square or something. It's very mm -hmm. in the center. And they have mm, very big park. It's the ice cream, beautiful park. And all the young people is there, you know. And we made the decision and have the, the, the bus stop. And it's a lot of worker people is too waiting for take the transportation. So. And we made the first decision to make one performance in that place and connecting with people. Because the strategy was we don't have any, in that moment, we don't have any connection with the media, and the media never want to talk to you about that. And the media is for the government too. The television is for the government too. We don't have any amplification. The only possibility is make the performance every day, every week, the same day and the same time, 5 o'clock in the afternoon in the same place. So you developed a strategy for direct mm -hmm. action and people would know because mm -hmm. of the repetition exactly. of the And we talked to the people. The next week, next Wednesday, we will be here again at 5 o'clock. And this is the connection with people. And for that reason, the people came every week to participate and exchange. And little by little, in two or three weeks, was a very big uh, situation, social situation, because it's a lot of young people, a lot of worker people make the question, what is that? How these people can make that in this society or whatever? No? And they make question to me, to another artist, and we exchange, and we have very strong political discussion outside. So this art piece, was it... <coughs> dialogue or was it a performance? The well? most important, the most important was the, the debate. That was the piece all the time. All the other elements was tools, to was instrument to use it and connecting with people was the the metaphoric elements yep. to to push the people to have debate. Because if you go in Cuba, if you don't have any artistic element, you know, it's very political, it's in the political way only. And you are decent and you, you go to jail, you know. It's, but with the art way, you can make the same debate, but using the art tools to make the, 
and we make it body art. We make it uh, pieces with text directly in the in the cement in the in the part in the floor in the part with chalk with paint. Yeah, with painting, with 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 charcoal, with uh, asphalto, asphalt. Asphalt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, one piece. This piece now is in the in the very wonderful book. It's a new book about that. This book oh, yes. is a new doc documentation about mm -hmm. different group and different moment around the around the world. And one part is dedicated to Cuba. And this particular performance, for example, this is one. It's very easy. It's a plastic bag, very huge plastic bag. I was inside for a little time. I was trying to breathe in, but little by little it was more difficult and difficult and difficult. And I was talking with the people. For, for the purpose of the um, interview, you are crouching almost in a fetal position, completely encased in plastic, mm -hmm. uh, wrapped, bound, confined mm -hmm. uh, on the ground, and a crowd of people are around mm -hmm. you watching. Go ahead. Yeah, and I was in the in the transfer because I, I, in one moment it was very difficult to, to have breathing to kind of breathe. And I was talking with people about um, I don't feel guilty. I am innocent. I am part of this society. I have something to say. I have something to exchange with my people. Why that people make repression to me? I was talking about that. why we can't have exchange, free exchange outside. Why? Why we, we can't make group, association? What we can participate in the global uh, artist community. Why we can travel? Yeah, this is a lot of questions. And the people was listening. Eh? And at one point when, when my breathing was very, very difficult and the plastic was in my face, you know? uh, so a teenager from high school or something, I remember because it was this girl, and she was uh, with the uniform, the high school uniform. It's a uh, yellow and white color and she brought the plastic bag and, and helped me and that was the point to make the provoke in the people the solidarization yes. with you yes. and have compassion with you and understand you and help you in in that moment the performance was stopped yes and we was talking more confidence and, and then the people you know talked to me and Expressed to me the people uh, experience, and we was making recording to another people about the same situation. You know, is the <coughs> for example in another performance we made uh, the project to so many artists to make sandwich like like in the capitalism society made. Political sandwich, sandwich. sandwich. Well, your body becomes exactly. an advertisement. To go out and make question, no? and we was walking around the city. And uh, in one point, the police came and destroyed every pieces and put me in jail for four or five hours. And my interview and, and was pushing me and whatever it was very very bad time, but. They d destroy all the pieces. The next performance, we went with all these pieces broke, and we used the pieces to make a statement. You know, every situation make it the next project. You know, was because it was very easy in the Cuban situation. Everything was a part of the of the question of the performance of the. Because the, 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 the society is very close. And every dynamic, every element, if you use and is different, it's not part of the uniform society, provoking the people question and reaction. Inside the bus, inside the, the train, inside the... In every place. If you go to some place with... I think in this country too. If you go to some place with song statement and it's not it's not part of the, the statement for example right now the government statement right now about the war or whatever you may question the people in McDonald's or it's only change the 
make switch to that. In Cuba, it was very similar. Right yes, now, the yeah. media, uh, both advertising and <coughs> network news, mm -hmm. mediate mm -hmm. ideas about mm -hmm. uh, acceptance of the war or about um, patriotism. Mm -hmm. uh, and many of your works recently mm -hmm. have addressed that exactly. issue. Mm -hmm. um, we'll follow a timeline. Mm -hmm. So uh, are there Im other images you'd like to discuss yeah. for that early work in Cuba? Uh, let me, let me show you. have got quite so a good collection yeah. of images. That that project was, or, or this project was from 87 to 91. Your street performances yeah. in Cuba. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, this particular performance uh, I was using my body and shape. Yes, your My chest is shaved. Yeah, I use the, the, the Cuban flag. Yes, but uh, a part of the Cuban flag is yeah, exactly. appearing on your chest yeah, and belly. But I was talking that performance about the, the pyramid uh, design of the government in Cuba, you know, and the star was my allusion to Fidel, you know. It's the only star, only leader, and the pyramid. And all the rest of my body was shaved, you know. And I was talking about that situation in Cuba. I make a different one and, and exchange ideas and talking with people about that. This another performer was writing in the, in the floor in the park outside and make text and create the situation. This is my tire, this is my space, this is my free, small free space in my life. So through text and through direct action and art, you're staking your own space, your own territory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And design my territory. Inside this territory, I am free. It's a metaphoric attitude. Uh, but this is always in conversation with the In conversation the audience, with people, also. yeah. Was, was writing and, and drawing and, and make my free environment, no? In the, in the drawing way, no? In the artist way. And... At the same time, I was talking with the people around. No? Um, for example, this was a, a cookie was a, with letters. No, it's a sweet cookie with the alphabet. No, and this is a, we use it a photography paper mm -hmm. a, with sensibility. Mm -hmm. But I offer to the people the possibility to select one word to the people one disappear in the vocabulary or uh, conserve forever this word. For example, love. No? The people say love and they or amor and they want to conserve that word. And we eat we eat all the letters and the and the and the word was impressed in the paper. But if you want to conserve this uh, idea of this concept, you enroll the paper, no? And conserve with you. But if you want you if you uh, mm, fiction inside fiction or metaphoric idea about society, you want disappear or erase this work for the national vocabulary like repression, like persecute, like uh, jail uh, or whatever, we eat the letter and put the paper together and the sun, well, all the drawing was with the sun like disappear and put the paper black and wasn't acting with that, no, it was very simple uh, because we don't have, in that moment, it was very on the ground, we don't have any support for the institution, it was so your art needs to be disappeared. Mm -hmm. It needs to be ephemeral. Mm -hmm. But v in the v very early days, <coughs> you're working with multimedia mm -hmm. interaction, mm -hmm. uh, social sculpture, as, as mm -hmm. Joseph exactly. Boyce would be exactly. discussing. Exactly. Exactly. Joseph Boyce was very important for our group. When we discovered Joseph Boyce, we feel very good. And it was it was difficult in Cuba because you don't have access to the in the library to all these kind of artists, no. All political artists, all political influence, you know, they have a lot of control about that. You know? um, but I went to the to the National Library in Havana, and they have all the information. But 
if you have some friend working there they bring to you some important book and for example Newsweek for example uh, Are You American uh, Art Forum that kind of magazine uh, are new we was checking this magazine but clandestine you know was but in the same time in Cuba the people have a lot of curiosity for that reason one because the government have control to the, the thinking and the information and second because we live in the island we have the psycho psychology attitude with the islander and we have the sensation all the time we are insulated and for that reason Cuba is so friendly the people is very enthusiastic to exchange have anger to exchange angry to exchange all the time no? because they have a lot of fascination for the foreigner information and Cuba don't have this kind of attitude to the, the stranger is is we have fear for the stranger people no, no it's inverse it's inverse this is the, the, the Islander psychology uh, function no? in the in the in the communicating with people. Um, but we have two kinds of embargo, no? Political and the the situation with USA relation is, is both inside for the for the island, for the government, and the USA uh, relation with Cuba too. We have two so the Cuban people have two different kind of embargo, no? A self imposed one inside and the then the US and outside, imposed exactly. embargo. It's more difficult because we have the enemy very close and we grow with this mentality of the of the life. No? For that reason, when when I met Paloma, was my first relation with some American people, some American women. It was the first time when I feel fascination, was fascinated and respect and uh, very complex feelings with this person and this person was from here. Because all my life I grew up with the idea, you are my enemy. I, with the USA people, no like that simple idea, but in general, no? this is the. But in the same time, you have fascination with the people, the people from USA, because you know when somebody told to you all your life, this is your enemy. This is, you have curiosity. This is like when your mommy told about your puppy, he's very bad. Someday you want to know your puppy, your daddy. It's it's, a, it's very it's very close enemy. USA is inside Cuba all the time, and you know it's not only Cuba. Miami and Cuba is is very 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 connecting, and the people outside believe no. Miami is some different part of Cuba, and no no, the, the influence is mutual all the time. So even very early in mm -hmm. these pieces, mm -hmm. there's language, mm -hmm. there's text and art, and the disappearance of art, and the, mm -hmm. di the mm -hmm. desperate attempt to either <coughs> disappear or reclaim mm -hmm. your language and, and your mm -hmm. intellectual discourse. Mm -hmm. Let me see. For example, uh, this is part of the, the last piece with the letters. This is another piece, for example. Uh, this is the uniform for the prisoner people in Cuba, the DC. It's a red and white color. And I make one text about me. It's an ego R. And all the information in, in, the, in the small sandwich text was about my personal life, about my, informa my personal information. No? The name of my mommy, the, the year when I was born my education, everything, and all this is part of my, my piece. I am the piece. And with that kind, very simple element, I use, in that moment I was censored, I was in the blacklist. I can't make exhibition yes. in Cuba. Yes, and so the, the prison uniform is if you have been disappeared and the desperate mm -hmm. attempt to mm -hmm. make your presence exactly. reappear exactly. through the sandwiched advertisement mm -hmm. on your chest. And with sandwich. that I went to every exhibition and use my body and my piece between some pieces. As a way to negate the blacklisting that had exactly. happened to you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the text is very, very 
uh, ironic because it's about my daddy and my mommy is the artist. The revolution is my sponsor. The you said artist, you know, your parents' names. Yeah, in the in the artist put my my father and my mommy in my uh, uh, technique, you know, or my human element, no? Blood, tongue, everything, hair, you know, uh, thinking, feelings, all these elements, no? And, you know, what's kidding with the information that you use close to the pieces in the museum, you know? Well, and stereotypically the Western idea of mm -hmm. artistic expression is the unique individual associated with your ego and then more socialist exactly. notion mm -hmm. of production is that your your you, your creative production uh, is strongly linked to these elements around mm -hmm. you, such as exactly. your parents, what formed exactly. you. Exactly. But it was very was very particular because this very simple piece, every time when I make it, the museum when the, the show was closed and I went out, some police, uh, secret police, take me and put me in the car and have inter interrogation with me, pushing me and say, is the the last time when you make something like that? You know, all the time it was very powerful and was very simple. Only because I use my body, my identity, my face, my from the people and provoke in the people think about that, you know, and in the same, in another time, because I was in every place, when you make one piece, the piece is in some exhibition, but it's not another exhibition, one painting, one installation, no, but in that case, in every show, when never they invade me, I went like, like public people, and inside the museum, I put my uniform, in the in the in the bathroom, and came and put between two pieces for a long time, and they was people was reading my information and making photos, and you know, and it was very powerful. <coughs> and you were incarcerated many times. Yeah, no, in the for a long time, mm -hmm. but I was in the up detention. Mm -hmm. Detention. Yes, yeah. yes, detention, yeah. detained. For, yeah, detention. for for days and or hours. But that I was trying to use it to was important for me too because in that moment I was very romantic. I was thinking and working for change my society. No to the idea to go out and live in the capitalism society or uh, escape from Cuba. In that moment I was I was immersed in the idea like boys, to the using the art, you can change the society. I was very, very naive in the same time, no? Um, pure. And when I went to jail, I was talking that w in the same time that was the most strong weapon, and I used it because never was behind. I was talking very clear in every place outside, and that was very unusual in Cuba in that moment. And when the secure police, when the somebody was making interrogation to me, or was, and I say when I think real, he was surprised for my honesty. But in the same time, he made a little support to me or have a little compassion to me because that was my education, the revolutionary education, to see say the truth be honest, critical, and, and confront the situation in your country and change everything and, and make evolution during the revolution. It's not, the revolution don't was only for the, the first people in the power. The idea was change and change and change and change, and we believe in that, my generation. You know? And in the, inside the, the room when they was making an interrogatory or something, they were surprised with our uh, clear uh, open uh, expression, no? and I think for that reason they don't was more uh, strong, uh, aggressive. They were more aggressive with no. you. No, I oh. think for that reason, for our hon honesty, uh, talking, 
they will have a little more compassion and respect. Yes, and yes, respect. that's what I'm hearing. Because when some people have made clandestine activity with the USA embassy or with the some group for outside, and they receive money for outside or whatever, it was easy to the the secure department or the police uh, make control to these people because it's clear it's enemy. But in our case was like like family, you know. I have disappointed with my dad with my dad and I confirm my dad. But I am the son. You know, it was like that. And this they was confused with our uh, pushing activity, no. And for example this is the one piece of the sandwich mm -hmm. uh, event, you know. <coughs> this, this piece in particular was talking about the the bureaucratic situation in Cuba and the Cuba, you know, all the people believe outside the Cuba have equal situation with everybody, equality. yeah, mm -hmm. equality for everybody, and, and that is not true. And we were talking in that piece about that the piña, 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 is the the symbol in Cuba to the elite. You know, when you have some piña, you have very small group in the power and have a lot of. Uh, um, your life is very different. You have a lot of material uh, uh, support and you have access to the another quality of life. Mm. And you can travel and you have gas, you have a good car, whatever. So we're looking at three placards. Mm -hmm. um, one is a series of questions typed out. The other two placards are a photograph the same body, yeah. of the torso, a nude man. Yeah. Uh, he's holding out his his hand, palm up, as if he's no? empty-handed mm -hmm. in the front, and in the back, he's ha hiding a pineapple mm -hmm. behind his back. Mm -hmm. And what do the placard questions the, say? The text was talking about uh, the. They say something like the first uh, original pecado. How do you say pecado? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was when the, the the first leader of the tribe. Tribe. Take the the coll collective uh, riqueza, riqueza, collective wealth. Yes. And in that moment was a, a start of something, the opportunism. That's when opportunism began. So yeah. instead of holding forth uh, Eve's red apple, he's mm -hmm. holding forth uh, but, Cuban but pineapple. The, same guy the original sin. Yeah. Yeah. And this is. Talking about the, the this mentality too about the, the when you are very uh, the victimization. No? Cuba play for half century this attitude, you know. Again, USA, again another big country, you know. We are very small, we are very poor country, and you aggress me and you. And at the same time, it's not true. Cuba, for a long time, was very strong military activity around the continent. And it's both. It's more complicated. It's not you are the victim, and the another is the, the bad guy. You know? And Cuba, Fidel used that for a long time, very, very intelligent, in the very intelligent form, to, uh, for marketing, for, you know, for open connection in Latin America no? to and, and have a, a diplomatic relation with Cuba and my support to Cuba and whatever no? but uh, Cuba was selling for a long time weapons from yes. Russia yes. and Cuba made a lot of things you know, in the good way in the draw way too in the cocaine way too uh, made a lot of bad things you know again USA you know, in the political or in the geopolitical way but all the time he used the another imagine, you know, today. I was talking about that, no? Yes, and engaging your, your public, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. your peers um, with these um, questions. For example, is, what is this exactly. notion of victimization doing to <coughs> exactly. you? Exactly. This kind of piece, in, in, in 10 minutes, when we make it that piece, for example, all these people, no? this is another performance in that area. Mm -hmm. The people 
say, no, I think that, I think that, and I am thinking now, I remember when my daddy was in Angola or whatever, everybody was talking, it was very easy to, to uh, beginning, uh, debate, or, you know, was the, was the trigger? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, it was very, I was very surprised at the time, because I said, wow, it's, it's very, uh, it's very uh, useful. It's very. So, how is it that you come to leave Cuba? Mm -hmm. And all of this very important uh, social interaction through your art mm -hmm. is being instigated on the streets. Yeah. Mm. For example, in my case, <coughs> this is another. Oh, yes. With the boy well, the flag. Yeah. And this is in the museum. This is the National Museum of Havana. What is the title of this? It is Vence Remos. Vence Remos is a very... Vence Remos. Is it will overcome. It's written all over Cuba. It's a very important uh, Fidel... Slogan. A slogan. You know, Vence Remos, you know? We are first. You know? But I changed the, the name of the Vence Remos. Remos is when you escape... Ramos is that. Is the, is yeah, the escape. oars, which yeah, escape is through Ramos. the water exactly. from it's Cuba. Talking, but at the same time, I was nude. My boy was painted with the, uh, with the Cuban flag, and the flag was painted in the, in the, behind me, in too. In the background. Yeah. So you become submerged against with the flag. With two elastic pieces here. I was trying to separate my boy to the, to the world. Oh. And then when the elastic was in the, in the top, pulling really you back. back. And bad, and bad, and bad, and you was very tired, no? and that finished the performance. And you, it looks like your mouth has been taped. No, no, no. no. Okay. And this is another. Oh yes, let's discuss this piece. You are nude in yeah, the streets. Yeah, the sky. You're painted with the sky clouds, yeah. uh, but you're in a very busy intersection. Yeah. With buses and cars yeah. and buildings all around you. And you can, you can see the contamination of the city. It yes, is, how polluted small, the smog yeah, and everything is. And I was talking about that too, no? <coughs> and in this particular performance, this is maybe the, the, the performance when the people know more. This is maybe the most favorite performance when I make it. Maybe it's the more visual. And it's in every catalog, in every uh, document about that time, about me. Mm -hmm. it's the, everybody uses it. Now it's in the Museo del Barrio, in the big exhibition. Talk about the performance, mm -hmm. uh, because it looks like you're gesticulating, it looks mm -hmm. like you're articulating the performance, something. Yeah, the performance was very physical, no? This is the most strong uh, intersection in Havana, uh, for commercial too. Yes. It's a two avenue. It's Coming right together, yeah. the crossroads, mm -hmm. it looks heavily congested. Exactly. Um, I went with the, my body... Uh, you're nude and your body yeah, is completely exactly. painted. In the, in face, the, in the feet. on the ground, no? In the clandestine car mm -hmm. and parking close to the intersection and the guy with the camera was waiting in, on the cover to distance. But for that reason the photo is not too close. It's it's a zoom photo, no? And it's a it's a video uh, still. And I put my body in the center of the intersection. And I was floating maybe for 20 minutes. But it was very, very hot. And the smoke was very intense. And I was, I was chanting all the time. Oh, and you were slowly rotating and yeah, chanting. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the Sufi uh, ritual, no? But I was chanting a very political song from Cuba. I was talking about this in this fucking city. Everything is lost, and everything is this and destroyed, whatever. I was talking, very popular song. And uh, um, maybe around 20 minutes, I was feeling very bad. And I was, I fell down. Because my body was painted with tempera. So you weren't respir perspiring. Exactly. exactly. Um, with so hot temperature. And the smoke and everything, I was I fell down. And when I uh, wake up, I was in the in the police uh, station, and they was looking me like very crazy guy. Oh, 
the faggot guy or something. I was in the floor with all this painting <laughs> boy nude. And it was very strange no, for, for the Cuban police yeah, see me like that. No? And you know, it was very thing. I remember a lot of uh, expression, popular expression, no? where the people was cross me in the bus or in the car, and everybody say, hey, fuck it, hey, sky, yeah. They're talking a lot. I remember a lot of boys uh, talking to me, no? but no clear was. And I was rotting and rotting and rotting, and one time I lost my memory and was down. Yeah. Now they in the Museo del Barrio they have this performance in video. The loop, the video, in the screen. But what was the experience for you coming to a place where you lose consciousness? Mm -hmm. It makes you ill. Mm -hmm. um, you're you're crying, chanting. Mm -hmm. Was now is now I saw that and say, oh my God, you was a little crazy. And now and so I have a lot of distance with that now. I can't believe sometimes it's me, but. In that moment, you know, I think when you are very young and you have a lot of passion and you want to change something and you believe in something, you don't think about the consequence. You know, I never was thinking about maybe you will go down, you will pull down because you are you have a lot of incapacity to breathe. No. I am very young and strong. <laughs> I never, you know, I I was more preoccupied about the people because my society is very machista. I was more more preoccupied about, you know, how is my argument with police with the police after the performance to justify or make some statement about what is my position with this performance because I was nude and that in Cuba is is very bad. It's a, it's a scandal of public. Yes. And you can go to jail for that, no? It's like in so many society, no? And uh, and they it's, it's difficult to my people in that moment believe this is hard. You know, in that moment in Cuba the performance was a lot of people was making that. And I think around the world too, no a lot of people was now it's more common. People now have career with performing art only. In the eighty three or four people and another song group in Cuba and I remember important performing artists around the world. But that was very, very popular to, to our way, no? And also for the most important performing artists in that moment, a lot of people, museum including important museum, have um, reaction to that and say, I think it's no art in, in this moment, I think it's interesting, but I don't know. You know, it was difficult to to make exposition about that. No, in the in the in the Joseph Boy case, or in the Vito Conti or whatever. But was, I remember it was a leader artist. So you're hearing criticism. Mm -hmm. You're hearing questioning. Where does it drive you <coughs> to? Uh, what position does it drive you to take in regards to? Mm -hmm. Where is art? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. I don't know outside in that moment, you know. Mm, now, for example, it's very ironic. No, actually, a lot of museums and galleries invade me for for.